Mersey Gateway Bridge crosses between Runcorn to the south of the estuary and to Widnes in the north. The central feature is the cable stayed crossing, which is a kilometre long, which is part of a just over two kilometre elevated structure. And I think the unique feature of the bridge itself is the central tower, which is shorter than the other two, and, and that's driven by the need to minimise the environmental impacts on the estuary. It's a DBFO project, so design, build, finance and operate, and it's a public-private partnership, so most of the investment will be paid off through the tolls on the crossings. Um, importantly, it's part of the sustainable transport strategy and brings inward investment and regeneration and jobs, both for the people of Holton and, and the wider region. It also improves air quality and noise. The existing bridge does get very congested at peak hours in particular, and the new bridge will improve that for the local residents as well. We were appointed as the lead technical consultant to Holton Borough Council in 2001 and really those first five years through to 2006 were all about supporting Holton in putting their business case to the Department for Transport. In March 2006 the Department for Transport gave uh, approval for the initial uh, business case that Holton has submitted. I was their project manager for three years and, and the main focus of that was to take it through the statutory process and the complex uh, raft of orders and applications. The preferred bidder was appointed in 2013, that was the Merseylink Consortia. They developed the design for about 12 months and started construction in 2014. Following the procurement process, the DFT gave Holton Borough Council final funding approval and that enabled them to set up the Mersey Crossings Board to deliver the project through construction and operation. They procured the services of a technical and contractual advisor uh, and we are uh, pleased to be part of, of that partnership which is with uh, CH2M and we've been delivering those services throughout the construction phase uh, and will continue to do so through till uh, 2018. I've now been on the Mersey Gateway for almost three years to the day. It's been a, a fantastic experience. It's, it's a big job. It's the type of job that we all dream of being on. In that time, I've been working as the part of the core team in our technical and contractual advisor service that we're offering for the Mersey Gateway Crossings Board, providing comfort and assurance to the client that they are going to get what they want. There's been a lot of challenges along the way. We've had a lot of contaminated land to deal with, uh, statutory undertakers apparatus, and then obviously there's also the, the technical construction challenges of building a major structure in a, in a tidal estuary. It's been a fantastic experience to be able to work on, on this amazing project from start to finish, all the way through, from feasibility to construction. I think for me, the success of the project is down to the drive and enthusiasm of the client team. They're one of the smallest local authorities in the country, delivering one of the largest infrastructure projects in the country, which is a really amazing feat, I think, for them. It's been a fantastic experience. Uh, the fact that it's come in on time and under budget has been a, an amazing achievement from all parties involved. There's taken a lot of collaborative working between the contractor, the designers, ourselves as technical advisors to the Mersey Gateway Crossings Board and, and the Crossings Board and Halton themselves. It's, um, it's been a real testament to the way people have, have worked together. From a personal point of view, I'm really quite looking forward to using the new bridge. I've used it once already and it was, it was fantastic, free-flowing. It's just going to make life so much easier.